Hi Scorpio, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Please keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. Also, roles can be reversed, so put yourself where you may fit. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome and thank you so very much for being here. Please join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you guys hit that notification bell to be notified for your future live videos as well as your uploads. And for you all that are returning, welcome back family and thank you so much for all your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guys most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, I'm sending much love and light to you. Spirit, what do we got for Scorpio? So for some of you guys, you could be dating someone right now. Um, you guys may live together or this person could live with you. Or it's one of those situations where they came over and just decided to never go home. Pack a overnight bag every day. Now they just have a closet full of clothes at your house. Whatever your situation may be. Um, I do feel like there's one person that's thinking and hoping that this connection is moving towards marriage, a higher level of commitment, um, definitely, definitely a bond, um, loyalty, devotion. But there's a situation where I don't even, the other person could be making you feel like they're closing off or I don't know which side you fit on, all right? But it's like, one person wants to get married, the other person does not. And instead of them saying that or being clear on what their intentions for this connection is, they may lead you on um, or just not mention it or those conversations that need to be had. They're not, they're not being had, you know, not addressing the white elephant in the room. Part of you could be thinking that this person is kicking it with somebody else on the side. or But I feel like this is more religious factors. This is very specific. Some of you all, you may be more into spirituality or they're in, you know, they're, they could be religious. Some of you all could be readers. You could be psychics. You could be, I don't know what it is about your religion or whatever, but it's causing some type of... Um, disconnection here this person is not being honest about why they don't want to get married um somebody could also be um uh, like from a different country they may be concerned about giving up their way of life this is what i'm getting whatever their way of life is um if they were to get married that would be challenged This person may try to make it seem as though it's nothing uh, when you try to have these particular conversations or if, even if you inquire about what might be wrong or what's on this person's mind. But they feel like it would fail. And I hate to say that, but it's like somebody feels like because you guys are from two different backgrounds or there's differences in your, what you believe in that things wouldn't work out. You have a lot of soul though. This is what originally attracted this person to you to begin with. For some of you, this could be you on the other side of this. You may be the person that doesn't want to get married and you could have not really explained to them why. There's something about religion or culture or something here.
whoever you are, you are just naturally being yourself. You know, you may want this person, but you're not willing to negotiate your, you know, what it is that you believe in. Now, somebody's coming from a very wealthy background. I don't know if this is you or the person that you're dealing with. But it's like, this person keeps, I don't know, like, I, maybe you keep your distance when you feel them pulling away or you feel like they're not into you like you're into them and you could be kind of matching their energy. But it's like, there's something that keeps drawing you guys back together, even if you don't. Even if you're opposite. Like, there's something, it's the energy. But somebody's tired of going through the same, they want to just focus on getting married and building wealth together. But the other person is letting either this individual's race, culture, background, or something stop this connection from growing. So, what I don't like about this, to be honest, is that it's like this person, it's like they're getting you warmed up, you know, telling you all the right stuff. You can be yourself, you know, this, like, making you feel like this is moving towards something. But knowing in the back of their, their mind that there's something when it comes to religion that is blocking them from making a real solid commitment or marriage or moving towards marriage with you they could want to keep going through cycles with you because maybe you have a lot of money or you come from a lot of money but the weirdest thing is it's like this person is wanting you to open up more wanting you to be yourself and it's like when you express who you are you got they don't understand you and they're not trying to understand you you're just not seeing eye to eye with them because they're selfish. And you could really love this person, which sucks even even worse. Because it's like they're looking at a situation like it's going to be a failure before it even starts. I don't know if this person is concerned about what other people feel or think when it comes to this connection. But it sure does feel like it. It does. So it's like the moment you open up about who you are, maybe where you come from, or just like, I don't know, like, then it's like they want to like withdraw or make you feel like they letting it go or they don't, they're not interested. But you love yourself no matter what because you know a lot of you guys, like I said, you're, you're chosen ones. Now, the thing about it that I'm seeing here is who is this seeing things from a different perspective? So I feel like The more this person watches you, like, if this is energy is starting out weird. So this could be, like, the beginning of your connection, how they were feeling. Because now I feel like this person seeing things differently. 
the more they examine you in this situation and the way you feel about them and how you treat them, it's like they feel trapped. Because it's like now they know they know it would be a great investment. I mean, you show them a lot of love. You, you know, you take care of your business. They're looking at you like it would be like it would be a great investment. Be careful though, because listen, I gotta say this. Whoever the person is that is going back and forth in their head, like whoever the person is that really wants this connection, like that wants to get married, they could like look at you as an investment. Like they don't have to marry you if they can get you pregnant. They could be in your... I don't know what this is, y'all. But it's trapped. You can't make it up. Because you got trapped energy and then this, this lady is pregnant here. So somebody feels pressured to get married. When it's like they would be a part of your life, but they don't know about marriage. Because that would require them to change the things that they believe in. Like, not change the things they believe in, but, like, yeah, have a new way of life. This was something that they were steering away from in the beginning. And they're still kind of steering away from this marriage thing. But they're looking at the situation from different ways. Like, they do like you. They do care about you. You might be wealthy or your family is. They just don't feel like a marriage would work. So this is somebody who kind of, who's selfish because it's like they're coming in here with these intentions. Yeah, they do care about you, but it's mainly about the benefits that come with you without the marriage, without that marriage, that, you know, that wife, husband, title energy is what I'm getting here. Wow. Um, all right. So what is this person hiding? What is this person hiding? Their heart is closed off. But they do feel like it will be a great opportunity to maybe earn money together or get some type of like share your blessings with you basically and then I think another thing that's kind of standing out to me is like I've been picking up this I picked this up for Virgo too so some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo but it's like somebody could have like a religion where they have multiple wives and it's not a secret that they're married. They just want you to be one of their wives. This is crazy. This is what I'm channeling though. Now. This person could travel a lot. They may possibly be from an, a different country or something. For some of you, or they could travel. They could do things for work and travel. Maybe be a truck driver or something. Where they have the opportunity to go places for months at a time and meet new people. And they may have little spots that they go to in different states where they stay with certain people while they're there. And smash and all that stuff. It's kind of like relationships in different places is what I'm picking up here. Mm. Okay. 
but you are the one that's like there's something about you or what you have to offer that's very beneficial for this person and they do see you as being nurturing you know like but this what is this person's true intentions what is this person's true intentions See, I don't like the way this person is moving. Because it's almost like they're emotionally closed off, but they like to show a lot of passion and it's confusing. This could be why this one person wants to get married and they don't. They're just keeping things a certain type of way so they can maintain a certain amount of control. Period. And it's like, I see like... They're, they're going back and forth between, like, you and this soulmate situation, like a marriage. Some of you guys are manifesting somebody new. It could be a Libra or a Gemini. Tell me about this new love situation here for Scorpio. What does new love look like for Scorpio? Super toxic. What? Is this the newer person or is there someone else? Because this just came out crazy toxic. Okay, you're manifesting someone else. So some of you guys are going to have a short-lived connection before you manifest someone that's actually good for you. Earth angel energy, great investment. You're going to spend a lot of time with this person. Potentially even marry this individual. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, with the four of wands. You guys are going to be celebrating um, potential even marriage. I see marriage definitely with the the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So you're going to have a short-lived connection that's going to piss you off for a lot of you guys. And then you'll take some time to yourself and meet somebody new. Now, how is this person, this old person, are they going to find out about this new person or how is that going to work, Spirit? You're going to tell them because they're going to try to do the same thing, the same cycle that they usually do. Try to get back together, maybe invite you out for drinks or whatever it is, reconcile with you. And I see you telling this person, you done. Like, I'm done. Matter of fact, I'm involved. You got the two of cups twice. So you and your new lover, y'all feeling the same way. Like, so you're going to not have a problem with telling this person that you're already involved doing something else new and you're not going to have an issue with letting them go because you feel like their intentions were not pure to begin with alright period point blank so Scorpio those were the messages that I got for you today I really hope you guys enjoyed your reading if you like the reading if it resonates with your story show your girls some love and thumbs up this video also subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon much love and light peace